inside the 40. Jefferson still going. See you. I said later. right foot creep on walking with that eagle. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see. Good morning, fellas and females. How are you doing? Cute little intro from Mr. Danik there. I don't even know he gritted or something like yeah. that. Uh, how you doing, Connor? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Good, good. A little replacement here for Bryce. Bryce wasn't cutting it, uh, so we just had to get somebody else. There we go. Anyway, let's see how he does, and let's get into the news. Cody has a joke for us today. Why is, was the bee's hair always sticky? He used a honeycomb. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. A honeycomb. <laughs> Kind of, it's not really funny, but it makes sense this time. Uh, anyway, happy March, reading month. That's a participial phrase. Uh, are you reading a great book or three? Simply pop into the library and share what you are reading. Sign up on our reading list and create your reading sign to tape to the library doors. Fabulous prizes will be awarded before we depart for spring break to randomly selected readers. Uh, whoever made that great idea to make it before spring break because everybody's tapped out already. So uh, last call to sign up for spring Spring Red Cross Blood Drive. It will take place Tuesday, March 19th in the Ox Gym. And if you're 17 or older, you can sign up right there on the screen. Or if you're 16, you can still sign up, but you have to pick up a parent signature. You have to pick up a form and sign, get that signed by a parent in the library. If you got any questions about it, see Mr. Peyote, because I don't know anything. And Carlson Print Shop is excited to announce that their 2024 senior apparel is now available to order. Seniors scan the QR codes located on display cases or check your emails for an order form. Orders and payment are due by March 15th. Also, somebody can just send you the link to the store. Um, I got it if you need it. Anyway, uh, I'll probably be buying one or two of those, maybe some pants. Um, what about you, Connor? Yeah, probably. You buying some 24 merch? Yeah, I do, obviously. You're not uh, gonna you hate bet. this place, man. You're leaving. Yeah. Yeah. All right, on to the weather. All right, good morning, Carlson. Today's high is 52 and a low 39, and it's sunny. What do you call a pig that knows karate? A pork chop. <laughs> Back to you. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Beautiful. Always does a good job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's his first time, but it, I, I can see him doing a, yeah. a good job whenever he does it. Anyway, let's uh, finish this news off. Thank you, Isaac. Coolest guy on the planet. Uh, anyone who did not pick up an application for the National Honor Society during lunch needs to see Mr. Rice in room 205. And applications are due March 22nd. But remember, our Cross and Christian Club meets every Wednesday in Mr. Danik's room from 2.30 to 4. Hopefully they're not making TikToks like the intro uh, or Instagram Reels like they just dropped a few weeks ago. But anyway, congratulations to our Business Professionals of America Club uh, this past week in the States. Matthew Gia. Uh, Nolan Kennedy and Connor Douglas qualified for nationals in software engineering. Give him a hand, Connor. Riley Saluski was uh, campaign uh, was elected as a state of Michigan secretary and treasurer for BPA. One of five state executive members chosen. That seems very important. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. Good job, Riley. Uh, I'm sure that's a big job. Anyway. What do you got for us, Connor, in sports? All right, Carlson. So, oh, okay, just do it here then. Uh, uh, come on, Cody. Are we serious back there, guys? Go on, go three. Jesus. C come on, Cody. All right, well, so uh, some news. Yesterday, Russell Wilson, he said on Twitter, he's going to sign with the Steelers. So no more Broncos country, let's rise. So, Tragic. Yeah, with him on the Steelers, they're going to go from 9-8 to nine and eight probably. <laughs> but That's another true. news, the Red Wings, um, they decided they were gonna get a sponsor from a garbage company on their jerseys. Never, oh. like, it's been forever since they've done that. And what has happened since? They've lost all six games. Take it off, guys, take it off. But, but uh, yeah, pretty sure Sauce had something you wanted to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, see Higgins, uh, also, wants to have uh, wants to be traded he got franchise tag so he's trying to get out of Cincy they're not giving him a long-term deal I don't understand it but uh, in other sports news in a completely different sport I, I don't even know if it's really a sport I don't know if you can call it that but the UFC uh, Poirier knocked out somebody in round two um, big comeback for him he hasn't fought in a while and Sean O'Malley just keeps winning and uh, he beat Cheeto again Cheeto I'm pretty sure that's it something like that um, but yeah, still undefeated champ, not undefeated, he should be, one loss, but 
Uh, good night for UFC. Uh, I think UFC 300 is next, so that should be a good one, but we're really all just waiting for Conor McGregor to come back. So uh, that's all the news we have for you today, though. Yep. Uh, not sure we're throwing anything after this, but stay tuned, just in case we are. Peace.